Today, I want to talk about a way to make money with blockchain you might not know about, right, and how I'm doing it. And if you're new around here, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. Click the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to learn how to become a blockchain developer, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So there's all kinds of ways to make money with blockchain. I've made several other videos about this. And you can just get a job in blockchain. You can be a freelancer. <laughs> it's also kind of comical, like how to make money with blockchain. You can literally just make money with blockchain, right? Create your own blockchain, create your own cryptocurrency, create your own token, whatever. And you can also build your own dApp or decentralized application that charges fees anytime somebody uses it. But I want to talk about a different way that I haven't talked about much on this channel, all right? And that's to become a network validator. So I'm going to explain what that is and how I'm doing it. So what is a network validator? You can think of a network validator kind of like a miner. There used to be a huge opportunity for miners in the early days of networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? You could simply just set up a mining rig on your own personal computer and mine Bitcoin or Ethereum. It really wasn't that hard to get started, right? But over time, this got a lot more competitive. And now we're here today where it's just not really worth it it for most people to start mining cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum at all. But the good news is there's all these other networks and blockchain services that work differently, right? They don't have miners. They have something else called a validator. And so why is that? That's because they use a different consensus algorithm than what Bitcoin or Ethereum currently use. They use proof of work. So you use miners in proof of work and they get the mining rewards. They get the money for running the network. But there's other types of consensus algorithms that don't use miners like proof of stake, delegated proof of stake, proof of authority. Right? These use validators instead. So I'm going to show you an example of this and how it works differently than being a miner. So Cosmos is a really good example of a network with validators, right? So Cosmos is supposed to be the internet of blockchains and they use a proof of stake consensus mechanism with validators on that network, right? So I'll, I'll even show you right now on Cosmos's website uh, how they explain it. The Cosmos is a uh, proof of stake blockchain, meaning that the weight of validators is determined by the amount of staking tokens, atoms, bonded as collateral. These atoms can be self-delegated directly by the validator or delegated to them by other atom holders. So how that works is as a validator, you can hold your own tokens and stake them to yourself or other people can stake them to you in order for you to validate transactions on the network, right? You're not a miner anymore, you're a validator. Now there is a catch with this, right? So if you read this part, it says the weight or voting power of a validator is determined by uh, whether or not they are an active validator. Initially, only the top 100 validators with the most voting power will be active, right? So what that means is kind of like mining over time, as this becomes more popular, uh, it's gonna be more competitive and harder to become a validator on these networks. And that means the opportunity for something like Cosmos might have already diminished, all right? So that's okay, but one of the reasons I'm making this video is to show you this approach, right? And a strategy is that you can get involved with projects early before it's too competitive to get involved and make the most of the opportunity, right? That's what people did with Bitcoin and Ethereum mining back in the day, right? And if you can kind of beat the herd, that you might find some cool opportunities. And that's what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna show you another cool project that I've gotten involved with and how I became a validator, all right? I'll show you step by step. So this project is Chainlink, all right? So Chainlink is a decentralized Oracle service. And what that means is they provide outside data to the blockchain, all right? So say you wanted to build some sort of uh, decentralized application like a stable coin, for example, and you wanted to know the price of all the assets behind that stable coin. Uh, maybe, maybe it's based on Ether or something like that. You wanted to get the Ethereum price in order to build your application. Well, you can use something like Chainlink for that, right? So Chainlink uses validators to uh, preserve the integrity of the data that's coming in into the blockchain. So a lot of networks and services that use validators have really good documentation for how you can get started. And Chainlink's a pretty good example, right? Basically how it works is all you have to do is set up a Chainlink node and connect it to another existing Ethereum node, right? And setting up the Chainlink node is really easy. All you have to do is like use Docker, all right? So if you're not familiar with Docker, it's essentially a way to like create uh, apps or environments on a machine without having to configure the environment, right? It's sort of like having a virtual machine just for code. That's not a really great explanation, but uh, you can go Google more on Docker about how that works if you're if you're not familiar, right? So whenever you set it up, you essentially just need a computer that's going to run the validator all the time, right? And so for most people, practically, this is going to be on a server. So they show you how to do something like Amazon EC2, right? So essentially, you could just create an Amazon EC2 instance. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, just go to AWS and look at how to set up an EC2 instance. And it's really pretty easy to get started. You just follow these directions, um, and they show you how to set the project up on your server, right? So you just create a directory, 
you add some environment variables. I mean, you just have to copy and paste this. You don't even have to really know everything that's happening here. And then you connect your Ethereum client, right? And for testing purposes, you could probably just use an existing Ethereum node and connect it that way. You can do something like Infura just to get started uh, to make sure this is smoke tested and working properly. And then also, you know, you should hook up a database so that you can run your uh, client you can also use a free uh, database on Amazon with RDS. I think the Amazon free tier for RDS works just fine for something like this. And then once you've got your entire project set up with Docker, Amazon EC2, RDS, and you have a connection to an Ethereum node, you basically just start it exactly like they tell you to here. And if you've done everything correctly, it just kind of works, right? The team's done a very good job of uh, making this easy to onboard developers to become validators and stuff like that, right? So this is the kind of opportunity you want to look for. You want to look for networks that are trying to create new validators that's actually going to get some traction that people are going to use their service for that have really good documentation and really good onboarding and stuff like that, right? So this is like, I, I went through this process. Like I did this. It was pretty easy to get started. Um, and these are the types of opportunities that like I'm looking for. Um, and you should also be looking for if you want to find a new way uh, to make money with blockchain. All right, so I hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below. And as always, if you want to learn more about how to build blockchain technology, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.